Hello! I am starting a new series that I wanted to call A Hundred Hours In, where I spend a hundred hours learning a new thing or doing a new thing or a oh, thing. <laughs> but I spend a hundred hours doing something, learning about it, using it, and then seeing what the result is at the end. And I thought the perfect one <laughs> for my first episode would be a hundred hours in Blender. Now it didn't quite make it to a hundred hours. And I'll explain that later. But I want to show you what I've learned. Now, when I first started using Blender, it was a while ago. And like, I had tried to learn it in the past. I did the donut tutorial. So I had a little bit of knowledge and I knew how to import my, um, uh, V-Roy models in there so I could do some editing. I did it for commissions as well, but just like little things, nothing huge, nothing major, just tiny things. And everyone was always like, oh, you should just learn Blender next. You should just learn Blender next. And I'm like, I hate Blender. I hate Blender. And they're like, oh, just learn Blender next. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Okay. So finally, here I am. So the first thing I did is I wanted to learn how to make a model from scratch. And I decided a low poly would be perfect. It shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be like that big of a deal. So I drew out kind of a character turn sheet so I could kind of copy and trace it. And I know some of the tutorials I watched said don't do this, but they can eat my butt because I needed to do that. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to try to link the tutorials I use down below or put a credit up somewhere. I'm going to try to let you guys know what I use. But so for the first one, it was fairly easy. It was this low poly model that I made of Pepper and it took some time to kind of like figure it out, get used to the program, kind of get the feel of things. And I really think it was a good practice before jumping in because in my mind, what I wanted to do is I want to do a low poly, a full model, and then a background, like a scenery. I didn't quite get to all of that. I did the low poly. It looked pretty good and it was it, it had like this old like gaming aesthetic and I kind of like that, but I decided to kind of like tweak it a little bit and then I tweaked it some more and then I tweaked it some more and then I had a chibi and I was like, oh my God, that's so damn cute. What if now I rigged it and could use it? So that's what I did. And so I created this cute little chibi thing. It doesn't have a much uh, in the way of motion. It can kind of like move and stuff. But although I had a few issues, which I did not know how to fix and I did not know how to look up on how to fix, I was still very pleased with this. I think it came out quite cute and adorable. And yeah, yeah, oh, it was so cute, but I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to do a full model, a full 3D model. Uh, also, at this point, I had already put like 20 hours into the chibi model, which isn't that bad. And it's probably very slow, but for my very first ever, 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 any ever model with a rig on it from scratch, that was pretty good. I figured, you know, okay, I figured out like kind of a basic idea of how to... How to, how to model, how to rig. I got like some gist of it. Let's, let's move up. So I had some tutorials and I had some friends on speed dial. <laughs> My discord speed dial for some help. And I went at it. Hey everyone. I just wanted to let you know that this episode is sponsored by... My Patreon! I want to thank all my Patreon members for supporting me throughout this time because thanks to your support without wanting a whole hell of a lot in return, nah, forgive me for that, <laughs> uh, I am able to keep creating content. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and if you're interested in becoming a Patreon member, you can over at the link down below or, or yeah. Anyways. Back to the video. Quite a few of the tutorials that I watched said you had to sculpt it first. So I started sculpting. And the first time I sculpted, I, uh, I don't know what I made, but it was scary and a monster. <laughs> I said, F it. And I threw it in the trash can. Anyway, so I scrapped the uh, old one and I started over again and it looked so much better. Uh, I didn't mesh or sculpt the head and said I just did the direct mesh as most tutorials suggested. Um, and then I, all the tutorials are like, oh, make sure you like subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. And my friend's like, make sure you subdivide. And we just subdivide, 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 blah, 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 blah. 
Yep. Well, I guess the tutorials didn't tell me was don't apply the subdivision. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. At that point, like, after I had the ni nicer base, I found modeling wasn't as bad. The hair was a bit of a pain, but I didn't mind it that much. Um, everything was just, like, a little tedious, but wasn't hard at this point. So I got the model together, and I was, like, fairly pleased. I'm like, okay, I'm liking this. I had recently redesigned myself just a little bit, bringing back um, an original element and some other things. So, yeah, I, I just kind of ran with it. So at this point, I'm 80 hours in, okay? And I'm thinking, all right, I have 20 hours. That should be enough time to, like, just slap a rig on there and do some blend shapes. I've seen people, like, do that shit in, like, a day. Ha! 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 Yeah. So, uh, I tried rigging. And the rigging part was fine. The weight painting was not... I weight painted and 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 weight painted, painted, painted. And it came out like shit. I couldn't get anything to look fucking right. And so I decided to put a break on that. Like, I spent like four days on it. And I was like, all right, pin in that. Let's go into blend shapes. I think it was like four days. Let's go into blend shapes. So I started working on the blend shapes. No, I don't know what fucking went wrong. But, like, the mouth bag that contains your teeth and your tongue and the back of your throat kept clipping through and tearing into my face and I looked like a fucking monster and I have no idea what I did and all I know is that many, many points I was like, ah! Yep. <clears throat> so, I did take a break from that. Sometime within me working on the blender stuff, I got a dog. Look at my cute little dog. His name is Maple. He's a precious little bean. He likes to shit and piss all over the house and it really stressed me out. So that did not help to my stress levels. In fact, thanks to Blender and this little shit over here. Well, not even, not he's a little shit, but the sh fact that he made little shits in the house. I kept having fucking panic attacks. Like, <laughs> I was having the worst panic attacks and, like, little, little mini breakdowns of where I would just, like, start hyperventilating from all the stress trying to get shit done. And, like, I could not understand what I was doing wrong in Blender. Like, it was just... I could not get the, the fucking sweater. <laughs> I could not get the sweater white painted for the life of me. Um, and eventually I redid the blend shapes four, five times. Yeah. By this point, I have gone way over a hundred hours. I had spent like a week and a half on trying to get the weight paints and the blend shapes to fucking look okay. I didn't even, they didn't have to be perfect. They had to be at least passable. Okay. That's it. Just okay. Mediocre. Okay. Mm -mm, I wasn't getting it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Nah. But after redoing the blend shapes a bunch of times, I got to the point where I was like, this is good enough. I can't, like, I couldn't handle it anymore. I was dying. <laughs> One of my friends, uh, decided that she would, like, take it in and try it out. And she was able to rig it up or white paint it pretty nicely. And thank you so much for that. I'm going to link them down below. But my friends who helped me were uh, Asu and uh, Kuma, who have, uh, well, Asu has been on this channel before, and Asu and Kuma have been on my Twitch channel, so you might know them. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so, um, yeah, so she helped me out. She, like, kicked it back to me. And I don't know what happened, but when I tried to import that shit into Blender, it did, it was, it was not happening. It like fucking just collapsed in on itself like a dying star. And I think it was just Blender being like, fuck you, Pepper. And I, blah, 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 I, we, we imported it as like Blender files and imported it as FBX and I still had some issues. So ultimately what I did is I took the FBX and I deleted everything underneath it, but 
the sweater and then I took that sweater and I threw it on my model and then I adjusted some of the weights accordingly trying to match what she had showed me until I got something somewhat passable <laughs> which is great it's great um and then I was like all right look I just got to be done with it and one of my other friends was like just stop just stop <laughs> I'm like, I hate Blender so much. She's like, stop. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I'm a stubborn person. I want to get this shit done, right? Got to get it done and done. So I decided I'm going to export it and import it into Unity so I could add uh, colliders and spring bones and the blend shape. Ab apply the shape keys to the blend shapes, right? Mm. I don't know what happened, but, like, Unity was not showing me where my colliders were. They were just non-existent. And I reloaded and reloaded and tried new instances, and I tried different versions. I had to go back all fucking ages in order to find one. But ultimately what I did is I just added them in Blender because there is an option in Blender to where you can add that. Well, it's an option if you have the VRM plug-in thing yeah i so i worked on doing all of all of that shit right i got all of the this the colliders in the spring bones in i got i got it in all right and i exported it and then i realized my model was jai fucking enormous so I go back in there and I'm like 15 feet tall or like some shit like that. And I'm like, God damn it. So I go to shrink everything down and the colliders explode like the fucking big bang. And they're just fucking everywhere. And now I have to replace them all manually. And I almost ripped my goddamn like hair out doing that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, but eventually I got it in. I got it in and I exported it. And for some reason, I had to reapply all the blend shapes. And then there were some other issues. And then it was a back and forth between Blender and Unity, Blender and Unity, Blender and Unity, VC phase, Blender, Unity, VC phase. Uh, I can show you my model. <laughs> After a, a lot of pain and suffering and a little bit of a redesign, just a smidgen one, trying to bring back some of the elements that I really liked, I have finished my very first ground up full shebang -a uh model with custom uh, uh, AR arcade. Yeah, custom custom 52 blend shapes, whatever. I don't I don't fucking know. Uh, I do think that there was quite a lot of bullshit. And when it comes down to it, I still fucking hate Blender, okay? So all you fucking people out there, look, I'm looking at you. All you fucking people out there who are like, oh my God, just learn Blender. Fuck you! I hate Blender! I gave it a good try. Fuck that program so goddamn much. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, one of the good things is it's like a kind of almost a necessary evil in uh, VTubing or in this stuff. But I like the fact that I was able to add like blend shape. No, spring bone. I added a spring bone to my highlights. So I have like shaky highlights in my eyes. Yeah. And I could kind of customize things a little bit more than I would have normally, which, you know, is good. But like, I just had so many problems with it. And I know... I know like Blender can have, um, I know Blender can have problems and it, like you get, you learn it and that's fine. But when I looked at my time, like I have 175 hours into this learning project and 20 of those hours was on the other model. So I have a, like 150 hours in this, which is way more than I should have, I think. Like, I don't know. And I guess that, you know, I know that I'm still like new at it and learning and stuff. And I guess for my first model, it's fine. And I don't know why I'm this close up to the camera. But ultimately, like I did learn a lot, I will say. And I now know how to do certain things. Is it my preferred go-to? Absolutely not. 
And in any future models, I will still use a V-Roid base because it just, like, makes things a thousand times easier. I will never do an off-the-shoulder... <laughs> I'll never do an off-the-shoulder shirt again or half-off, half-on shoulder. That was just a... Ugh. Also, I learned that I should not have applied the subdivide because this model is goddamn fucking huge. But, like, it wouldn't let me export unless I, like, applied the subdivide. So, I don't know. Like, it was weird. I learned the best I could. I want to thank my friends for, like, being there and allowing me to, like, not only vent to those who didn't know anything about this, but those who were actually, like, actively trying to help me when I was like, HELP! I'M GOING TO GO KILL MYSELF IF YOU DON'T HELP ME! <laughs> thank you. <laughs> But yeah, like, I mean, if you want to learn how to do this, like, I if I can do it, you can fucking do it, man. Because, like, I, like, if you don't know, I have a fucking learning disability. I have, like, dyslexia, and I have, like, a problem with memory and remembering things. So, like, I have to do things over and over and over and over and over before I, like, fucking get it. So if I can learn how to do Blender, I'm sure you can, and I'm sure you could do it better and faster than I can. Because I am just dumb. <laughs> I am just a big old dummy. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. I'm still figuring out what I want to do for my next 100 hours. I haven't started it yet, but it's probably why videos will be far and few between. But if you have any suggestions, you can leave them down below. They're not all going to be modeling. I'm thinking the next one's going to be like RPG Maker. Because I've been kind of looking into that a little bit. And I'm a little interested in trying to learn that. Or maybe I'll do something like uh, run pie and learn some Python. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Join me in my adventure of spending 100 hours or more in programs. Yeah. And I imagine if I went to go make a video game, it would definitely be more than 100 hours. But like, I don't know what else I would possibly call this if you have any better names for the series, you let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much. If you uh, enjoyed this, you want to see more, subscribe, share this if you fucking want. I don't give a fuck what you do. You do what you gotta do. I believe in you, okay? I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>